my name is Chris. I'm from Sweden. I love to travel. That's my lifestyle. Chris from Sweden, a crazy Swedish traveler with 156 countries in his backpack. It's a couple of dollars. Venezuela. Chris has been to every corner of the world and he loves to get out of his comfort zone and to carry himself as a guest in a new place. Welcome to my place. Nice, let's go in. <laughs> soon, yes. <laughs> yep. That's my life. He grew up in a small Swedish city and besides his travels around the world, he works with transport and often goes to Denmark and Germany for work. When you travel, yeah, you see happy people in Africa. <laughs> they don't complain. And then you come home to Sweden. People complain about, oh, my food was too too, too cold, or uh, that house is too big, and I can't build it here, and uh, oh. But when you're traveling a lot, you enjoy it more. You are a map geek. Map geek, absolutely. That's me. <laughs> What's one of your best travel experiences? I went to Venezuela, to the deepest uh, jungle yeah. changes fall uh, two years ago, and that was amazing. I was almost the only tourist there. Yeah. plan is to continue when uh, Corona is over. Uh, how old is the youngest Swedish guy to have visited all the countries? To visit all countries? I think 42. And you are how old? 38. 38? Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you aim to beat that guy or do you just travel to enjoy? Or... I try to don't hurry. Some people, some people are like, oh, I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna take all countries before I'm 25 or something. That's not my plan uh, to do it in a fast. Of course, if I one day uh, it would be possible, of course it would be nice. Chris and I have been online friends for a long time and it was nice to finally meet in real life. Yeah, I like Denmark. I like Sweden too, so... <laughs> Traveling is the best school. Yeah, when you travel, you can be yourself. You can... Uh, and you meet people and they, when you come back, you don't complain about things. We have already talked about future travels together, such as Libya. Chris is a real traveler who likes to go where few others go. His home is full of travel souvenirs and traveling is his big passion. So what happened to you in Granada? I was on the top of the waterfall, gonna take a picture and I dropped my phone. Fell down from the waterfall. Four meters. Four meters drop. Yeah. Did you hurt yourself? On the way down I think like, okay I'm gonna die. I hurt my, my leg a little bit. I was still in like in shock. So I, I need to dive down and get my phone. And it was very deep and I went down in the bottom of the lake and I found the phone and I went up. What the fuck? This is an iPhone. I don't have an iPhone. <laughs> I found the wrong phone. Wow. Of the crazy story. So you found another phone? Yeah, I found another phone. And, uh, <laughs> and then uh, finally I found my, my own phone. But it was dead of course. And one month later it woke up again. So we actually got a new phone also. <laughs> I'm sure our paths will cross again. And as a Danish and a Swedish guy we get along very well. This is Chris, the crazy traveler from Sweden. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Chris, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Take care and happy traveling. Yeah, you too. See you. This is Roger Ramirez from Dominican Republic. Hi, my name is Roger Ramirez and I'm the guy with the big bike. He is the big guy with the big bike. So, bro, how tall are you? I'm nearly two meters. <laughs> I'm really lucky to spend the next week with Roger in Dominican Republic. Roger is a funny man with plenty of hidden talents. I can assure you this guy, he drives like crazy. Let's go. He has his own photography company and whenever he's not snapping amazing photos, he likes to jump on his motorbike and explore his country and the wide world. All Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, and have done Colombia and Ecuador. In Dominican Republic, to cross the street, you have to prepare like you are going to run a sprint. <laughs> like now. Let's go! I like to ride a bike because it's cheaper, it's faster, I can go between cars, you don't pay tolls. I enjoy riding a bike every time, every day. He is not only the big guy with the big bike, he also has a really big camera. Roger is a family man and takes good care of his sister's kids while he masters his photography business and life in general. 
it's a lot faster on a motorbike, obviously, than in the traffic. Yesterday I was stuck in the traffic for hours, but with the big guy with the big bike, it goes a lot faster. He traveled all around Colombia on his motorbike, and it was very inspiring to listen to his experiences. I enjoy every part of, of the country. It looks a lot like Dominican Republic, but it's bigger. I'm well arrived in Dominican Republic, and I couldn't really imagine a better guy to hang out with. I am from Dominican Republic. My man. Como estás hoy? Muy bien, gracias. Este. Muy bien. Do you have any future travels? I would like to finish my trip to South America, and then I would like to go to something different, uh, like Europe, Canada. I got the feeling this is going to be a fun week with this heavy giant, the big guy with the big bike from Dominican Republic. We have a great time having. Good stuff here, so welcome. Feel free to subscribe to Gus on the go. Now, like a normal guy. We are ready. Hi, I'm Roger from Dominican Republic, and I'm, I'm the big bike. <laughs> and I am the big guy with the big bike. <laughs>